guys, Jeff here from Pat Pro Movies, and welcome to Actionica. This is the first of an eight-part series designed to give you guys a better insight on how we do things here at Pat Pro Movies, and uh, maybe you'll take away a little something for yourself to apply to your own films. So um, stay tuned for the series. First off, I want to talk about sound design, and uh, it's something we get a lot of comments about, especially the guns and explosions. So I'm going to give you a little insight on how we use our guns and explosions to um, fill out our piece. And um, also, it's very important to have a high-quality library of sounds for this. So um, I'll show you where you can find some of the best libraries and maybe even create some of your own sound effects. So um, we'll see you in. All right, we're here in my Pro Tools session for our latest video, and that was Drunk Gamer. Um, this is, video is a good example for me because it was pretty extensive as far as tracks and sounds go. It's about a five-minute piece. Um, if you haven't had the chance to see it, you might go check it out on our channel. Um, I'm going to bring you down to our gun sounds here. They're labeled in green so you can see them easily. Um, you'll see here, um, basically everything I have highlighted here is, is gunshots. Um, quite a few, especially for the terrace. A lot, of, a lot of ambient gun noises going on in this piece and on, on camera. Um, our guns come from a mixture of library and things that we've recorded ourselves. Uh, we actually had the chance to go out to a gun range with some friends and record gunshots. And uh, we'll be putting up a, a video soon about how we did that. But a lot of this was uh, a mixture of library as well. So um, you'll see here I've got my tracks. And you'll see that there's a lot of uh, region separations here with crossfades. Um, that's so that I can time up the gun sounds to the muzzle flashes on camera. You see muzzle flashes going on. Very important to get those gunshots timed exactly to the muzzle flashes. And uh, if they're timed exactly, the viewer won't think twice about... Um, the design or even how it was made. It just feels like a real gun shot. And you can see in that little bit, there's a lot of changes in volume as well. Um, pull up the uh, volume curve for automation and uh, you'll see that uh, these guns start out low as they are, uh, as the camera stays distant and as it um, goes full frame, I uh, boost the volume um, to get a more up-close feel. So definitely want to make sure you're automating the volume um, as the camera angles change, as well as the uh, panning. Um, lots of pan changes. When, uh, when this terrace, when this other terrace is off camera, I pan the uh, gun to the far right. That way it sounds like it's off camera. So uh, just be wary of your uh, volume and panning settings and uh, shift them as needed. Um, very important to sell the soundscape as a whole. And I realize you guys may not have the uh, resources to just go out and record your own gun sounds. So um, I highly recommend the uh, Digital Juice libraries. Uh, I think it's $99 for an extensive sound library, including guns and explosions. So you may check them out. That's a good way to get started. Um, with some a great pack of sound effects. I use them, I use some other libraries, but I go back to those libraries a lot. Uh, also, you can create your own sounds. I know that um, a nail gun works well, um, combined with some other sounds as a gunshot. Um, a Ziploc bag, maybe just you smashing it, um, creates that burst, a good, a good gunshot burst. And firecrackers too make, make uh, good ways to um, achieve some good gun sounds. Also, I want to talk about the explosions, and uh, I'll go down here. The explosions are in orange here, so you can see. Um, there's two big explosions in this piece. Um, first here was a grenade exploding in Diamond's face here. Um, this explosion was made up of six different explosions I pulled from a library and uh, combined to make one huge explosion. I'm, I'm a big fan of big, fatty explosions, so... Uh, I'll just go through the sounds here and let you hear what all I've I've pieced together to give you this one big meaty explosion. Um, first off is this one, explosion number one. And you'll hear that one's heavily distorted, and um, that's just a uh, distortion plugin. It's called Lo-Fi. I think it comes with Pro Tools, but I just amped up the distortion on that and uh, got it really um, really distorted sound. Sounds good. Number two here. That's just a nice, thick uh, explosion there. That one's a low boom sweetener, kind of like that one. 
that's an airy sort of glassy kind of explosion. Um, next up. There's the sound of the flames coming at them. And another real airy sound. The airy sounds give you an in-your-face kind of feel. And the low booms just give it a meteor feel to the whole thing. So, all together you get uh, this sort of... It's got a nice echo to it. But that's, uh, that's how I kind of build explosions, you know, just... Um, Find a, find a library that works and, and start building around and, and shifting things and you'll get some good stuff out of it. So that includes our piece on guns and explosions. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to write in the comments box or um, send us a direct message. Um, we'll be glad to respond to you. In the next series, we'll be talking about the sound design element of Foley. So be sure and check us out. And thanks a lot for watching, guys.